hello everyone and thank you for coming back to the channel and again we have to talk about Portia 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 and Simon 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 her boyfriend okay Portia you refuse to listen and that's why your boyfriend is trending <sighs> he's the trending news for today on social media okay you went out with your girlfriends and having a good old time out there and we don't mess around and counsel your boyfriend because i don't know if he was trying to get the house that you all call yourself living in see why you run in the street with your three friends and, and getting drunk out there especially shamil she must be going through some things we might have to check on her instagram account and see what's going on okay see if some pictures can tell us something all right because I believe she's unhappy over there. Especially she hanging out with you. Waiting for you to come back from Africa. To just take you back in the Atlanta streets. And, and party, party, party. Okay. Yes. But we're going to talk about Father Time. You call yourself your, your fiance. But we look at him over here. as your boyfriend. Glorified boyfriend. Girl, when you are away, he will play. Now, we know what he was doing down there in Lagos, Nigeria. That's why you had to hurry up quick, fast, and hurry and get on over there. But if Simon is not showing his cars, showcasing that, I don't know if he was getting ready for Homes and Gardens magazine or Good Housekeeping or Martha Stewart or I don't know what he was trying to do. But girl, we already know he like calling himself the MF word. All right. But I was like, well, maybe he would be a little bit more concerned and be a little bit more down to earth but you know he loves his calls he likes showing them to us but god damn it what is he doing now Portia? he's giving us a house tour <laughs> of a house y'all say he bought it i say he probably leasing to buy and it's just being sealed for whatever reason but why would you buy a house that's already furnished and you don't have any Nigerian pieces from the motherland up in there. Okay. I see no artwork. Isn't that beautiful? Girl, it's beautiful. This is Nigerian African artworks. Okay. Now, if Simon is so proud to be a Nigerian African man... Why does he not have any artifacts, any artwork, okay, up in his so-called house that he bought, right? Why is he living like a European type of individual? Now, you see he's black as black, right? He ain't blue black, but he black as black. I don't know how he can call himself looking like who um Hugh Hefner over there or Bill Gates or whatnot but that's more of a beachy type of home European Western style Mediterranean feel okay and he has no Nigerian artwork and he really don't even have any artwork on the walls so people that Say layman people like me that make 60000 or less. Okay, I'm going to tell you how much I make, but it's decent. But we're going to have artwork on the walls. You know what I'm saying? We're going to have television screens. We're going to have artwork. Um, uh, giving you a, 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 a history lesson of where we come from and this, that, and the third. I mean, it's a lot of African art pieces out there. Beautiful. Beautiful. From all different type of countries. Alright. But Simon. To be a proud Nigerian. African man. And billionaire at that. Why don't he have any artwork on the walls. Y'all know when y'all going out there. Getting them houses. Or nice luxurious apartments and stuff. Y'all going to decorate them walls to the nines. Okay. Even Portia in her old house. That she says she gifted her mother. When we know. On the low low, her mama just keeping it warm for her. In case it, everything don't work out with her and Simon, she got to come back. Yeah. Portia had artwork on her walls. Okay. So what is my little conspiracy theory mine is going? Simon just rented that house. 
Okay? And made it look like he was buying the house for paperwork aesthetics. Okay? Technically, he should just seal the deal where nobody could actually uh, go and, and look up his information. But he wasn't that smart. You know, he ain't the sharpest nail or tool in the shed. Okay? And Porsche ain't too far behind him. They ain't the sharpest tools. All right? But we do know something about billionaires millionaires zillionaires they got artwork on their wall it might be uh what do you call it um what do you call it when artwork is just so expensive well let's just say it because we can't think of the word right now expensive artwork yes pictures paintings you see what i'm saying from true artists that's worth what 40 grand 50 grand maybe 100 grand or half a million sitting up on that wall okay but in this house that simon has called himself buying there's little or no artwork in there except for what is in there that the um people left prior to letting him have the house okay and if you can really see uh the image I don't know if you can really see it unless you got really close. Simon is going around photographing everything. And I think that bottle he had on the plane one time. Y'all remember that bottle he was holding on the plane? That's a similar same bottle, right? But anyway, as I was saying, like a pretty picture could sit on that top wall. And I don't know where this came from. I think it's from his old house from when he was with Fallon. Or it might be the new house. There's nothing there. In that whole house of what he was trying to give us as a walkthrough, a tour, he didn't take us upstairs. He didn't let us see that. All right. Maybe he's waiting till later on. But I'm pretty sure it's still going to look European. Too many pictures not going to be on the wall. There's no decorations that uh, shows what country, what culture he is. It just looks like a big ass house with no love in it. Okay. I'm like, is that a monkey carrying a wheelbarrow or something like that? What the hell is that? And what does that signify? All right, but that's this little shadow in that picture. He going around taking pictures of the house. Yep, he's bored as hell. He ain't got nothing to do. He should have went on down to Florida where most of uh, rich people go to retire. Because that's where he need to be. Because he's trying to say he in his 50s. I don't believe it. He, he's like one of them actors that like to say they're younger than what they really are to get, you know, different roles and, 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 and positions and movies and stuff. And they don't want no has been old folks running around now. Unless it's a casting for that. And he's just an extra. But I'm like, no beautiful artwork of children or women or men or the family structure is in his house. Now, I'm, see, I'm decorating for him. Hopefully, he'll see this video and he'll go out there and buy some African art. Okay? But he doing too much. Like on birthday, say Candace Aunt. He doing a little bit too much. Okay? That house ain't showing improving. That sh house is showing somebody else's culture. All right? I mean, I know. I know that's right, Aunt Bertha. I'd be damned if I'm going to keep something and ain't going to have my personality up in there. You know what I'm saying? And the frames and the walls and the sofa, something. Okay? I'm going to have something that represents my culture, me. And they can say, yep, that's your style. You see what I'm saying? Because even at my office and work, at work, my office shows who I am. Okay? And what I do. It's a beautiful, it's a beautiful office. That's all I can say to y'all. But basically, you know, and it reflects in your home. You have either a room or rooms that's yours that when you know you walk in now you just feel so tranquil you feel so much serenity so much peace you know what i'm saying and anybody that know you know when you in that particular room don't come disturb you don't come mess with you you're trying to get your zine on you're trying to get your relax you no know, relaxation they can come in and relax but don't bring no issues no problems nothing okay just calm cool and chill cool and chill but I just noticed that since Simon had so much time on his hands and he wanted to pick that camera up, <laughs> I'm like, Porsche, 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 Porsche. Next time he fly his behind to Benin, <coughs> Africa, 
or Lagos, Africa, make sure he brings some pieces back. Since he can't seem to act right in Atlanta, he still want to be on this European type style decor up in the house that y'all supposed to be sharing. And it ain't got no motherland up in there saying something. Okay, pots, bowls, whatever. You know what I'm saying? But that just shows to me, it seems like he want to be more white than he want to be black. I'm just saying. I'm trying to keep it real as I possibly can. But it's not showing me anything or who he is. Unless he really wants to be white. He's just trapped in a black folk's body. What do y'all think about that? Okay. That's all I'm asking. Because I, I, I know some doctors and some lawyers. And I've been to their homes. And it represents real well what kind of culture they are. And the things that they like. Everything is plastered on the wall. You can tell or give a good insight of who they are. Because their culture is represented in their homes. And, you know, it's just vivacious and, vi you know, just vital. Or, or what's the word I'm looking for? Um, for lack of a better word, a lot of creativity to who they are. So that's why I'd be messed with Simon. Because both him and Portia are very similar in these ways of them not knowing who they are. You see what I'm saying? They say they this and that and they portray for what they want the outer world to see. But we're asking who are you all Portia? Who are you Portia? Who are you Simon? Because basically what you're giving me is European teas. Western European teas all the way across the board. And I hate to wake you up out of your dream and force you back into reality. Both of y'all are black. Okay? Blackity black. Not blue black. But y'all black. African American. However you want to see yourselves. But you're not Caucasian. You're not white. You're not European. Okay? I'm just saying. You might want to look that way. You might want to act that way. But when you totally denounce who you are and your culture. And none of it reflects in the house that you both supposed to be sharing with one another. That's piss poor. That's piss poor. And it's not acceptable. Not acceptable at all. And Portia, you know you come from a rich heritage of freedom activist fighters. You should have a lot of stuff up there in that house if it was truly yours. If Simon truly had bought it for you and him. Some representation of your late grandfather should be up up and now. Okay. Hell, y'all don't even have no pictures of you all and your children on the walls. What's up with that, Portia, Simon? We got questions. And we definitely need answers. But that's just me. That's just me. Looking at a situation since Simon invited me in. When he called himself being on Instagram. Having too much time on his hands. Portia had went out partying. Left the man to his own devices. <laughs> and that was the major mistake. Portia, the major mistake, and you already done told us he always go do stuff he always posts on social media and don't, you know, think of the consequences or how it's going to make her look, and he's still doing it. Can we prove it? Roll the footage, okay? Instead of this house looking like a house that have love between them two. I need to be seeing pictures of PJ everywhere. I need to be seeing pictures of uh, Portia's mama. Her family members. But this is what we got. This is what we're looking at. A house that already had furniture in it. And it's on a Mediterranean type stucco style home. Mm-hmm. That's exhibit A, B, and C. Okay. And I don't know why he got that car parked too close to the house where you can have all those fumes. You see what I'm saying? Don't need all those fumes. That that car should be in the garage somewhere. But he got it out like a little play toy. 
I'm like, man, get you a scooter or get you one of them little, we call them little golf carts, course carts, and, and roll around in it. If, if your knees are hurting you too bad, <laughs> your hips are hurting, baby, you ain't got to have a car right now. Just go on and get you a little scooter, and, and, and or better yet, do this house that y'all are in, does it have an elevator? Does it have an elevator? Because if y'all are supposed to be flossing like that, you need to have an elevator. All right, but of course he just took the downstairs side, which is kind of really open and empty and spacious. Okay, we don't know what the upstairs look like. It's probably empty up there too, as well. No decoration, no decor, just flat out whatever. And I'm sorry, I can't be laying in somebody else's bed. I'm like, mm mm. I had to buy a whole new bedroom suit. PJ would have a bedroom suit. The guest rooms would have new bedroom suits in there. I, I just can't sit. You know, you could do it when you're on vacation. And you may uh, rent a villa or, or something like that when you're out and about and in another country or another state. And you're parlaying. It's okay to be on somebody else's furniture. But ain't no way in the hell uh simon would have said we buy a house and it's fully furnished <laughs> like did i go shopping with you did we go to rooms to go did we go to ashley uh uh bad car did, did we go to any one of those stores and uh spin up a fortune and had all this furniture delivered uh in a couple of installments of one one or two days here and the other one gonna come next month or something like that. Do we have that? Because that, that furniture would need to be brand new. I don't want something somebody done shit it on, fought it on, uh had sex on and came on. I we don't I don't want all that. Okay. I want something fresh. Out the showroom flow. Okay. And that's how we would have rolled with that one. Or how most people are they decorate some of their house and some of it's kind of empty until we can piece things together you know we buy we, we focus on one room at a time and we fill it up like that through the months through the years and it'll uh before you know it quick fast and hurry it'll be full, filled with love and sentiments okay something that you can look and say oh yeah you know pictures everywhere you know on the desks on the cabinets you know just showing love and the family and all that but that they ain't got nothing up in that house and of course you need to stay out them streets now cause i'm telling you when you away simon playing okay he he doing it and everything he ain't got no business doing and you know he needs somebody to spot check his post before he put him out there you know that. I know that. The world know that. But Simon don't know that. So that's what I'm saying. If you want to marry this man, you need to get a better ring on him. Got to ring him in sometimes. Because sometimes he be out there. don't know what the hell he doing. But he's supposed to be your glorified fiance, your beard now boyfriend. But, mm-mm. You see all that stuff that's empty back there? That's pretty much how his soul is, pretty much. That's all I'm saying. That's all I got. That's all I got for this video, guys. I just had to show y'all. Father Time was opening up his home, the first level, I guess, showing us what he want to show us of the success he has appraised of his way of showing he's wealthy. When, honey, health and loving the Lord is all the success you need because the other stuff don't follow you see what i'm saying you see what i'm saying but he's so stuck and hell bent on having all this tangible stuff that's here today and gone tomorrow you see what i'm saying stuff that's tangible that can be enjoyed by you one day and then when you die somebody else gonna be enjoying it and they ain't have to pay for it you see what i'm saying Ooh, don't let me start preaching over here don't let me start preaching over here but that's all i have for this video guys hope y'all like it love it brought some insight into simon's life and what he feels is the living it up life but ain't showing and proving letting us know nothing about him so portia please wake up please understand what this man is doing so you can quick fast in a hurry and leave him at where he's at okay leave him at where he at if you don't understand that, because you should have overstood that. But if you don't, then come back. I'm pretty sure I'll break it down for you in another video. Because we know you kind of slow. We know you kind of slow at times. 
But if the man can't have a home where he's decorated, where it shows his accomplishments, his achievements, and his culture, you don't need to be effing with him. I'm just saying, you don't need to be effing with him. Because he seems like a scammer to me. And that's all I got, y'all. But he got 4,029 hearts, meaning they like what they were seeing. But I'm like, where is his African heritage at in that house? Where is it? I'll wait. I'm still waiting. I ain't got all day. But y'all get down in the comments. Let me know what y'all thought about this video. And where we're going with Simon and all his lies and Portia and all her family lies. And, and, and I don't know. The house just looks really cold. It looks very unloved. And look at the flowers. They look like they need water. But ain't nobody paying attention to them. Okay? Hell, ain't nobody ever on at home. Okay? <sighs> Instead of him draping his house with these type of artifacts. Bless you. These paintings. These drawings. Yeah, he, he just got just plain white walls, cream walls, and some kind of drapery. And it says nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Nothing from nothing leaves nothing. You gotta have something if you want to be with me. Okay. That's an old song for those old folks <laughs> that know where it came from. All right. And I'll see y'all next video, guys. Love y'all. Bye.